Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag SQL Server DBA tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up database mirroring SQL Server in single server means I am using the single server with the two instances. So SQL Server database mirroring is a disaster recovery and high availability technique that employs two SQL Server instances which can be located on the same or different machine means that if you have only one server and two SQL Server instances are running then also you can do the database mirroring and if there is a two servers in that different uh, machine I mean different machine two instances instance is running then also you can do the database mirroring one instance server as a primary referred to a principal server while the other function as the mirrored instance known as the mirror server so in in uh, certain scenarios a third server is if you are using that will be a act as a witness server in my case we have a two servers so first server is the principal and second server is the mirror so i am going to do with the sql server management studio gui and in this co in this video we will learn create and service account of mirroring and assign for the sql server and assign to sql server service and second is how to prepare database for mirroring third is how to configure principal server fourth is how to configure mirror server so we'll go one by one first let me create the user service account so in 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 my case i'll just create the user for that so go to the your system manage here you will get local user and groups expand that inside that there is a user so right click on the user go to the new user and just i'm going to create one user mirror mirroring okay giving the same name password i'm giving admin at the rate one two three so i'm just going to click the password never expired click on okay so mirroring is created now close that second assign to sql server service account so sql server service account go to the your sql server configuration manager so i'm going to open sql server my configuration manager go to your uh, your sql server primary databases first go to the sql server services right click on your uh, whatever the instance you have running i have a primary db and secondary db so primary db right click on that and click on properties just search the service account m i w r mirroring let me check so mirroring is available copy and put the password in password is inserted click on apply wait for few seconds it will reload and just click on ok so see service account is changed to mirroring second server i am going to do the same so right click on that go to secondary Let me select mirroring, enter your password, so whenever you are changing the your service account just re, uh, restart your service. Now I'm going to change my agent service account. So secondary database I'm going to change do the same so 
so all the uh, sql server service i change this account name and services also now i am going to restart my service so the right click on that stopping services starting service so service is restarted i am going to click on the secondary server right click on that and restart the service do the same thing Now I'm going to start the agent also. So all the related services I have started. So SQL Server service that is the for, for the primary DB and SQL Server for the secondary DB and both the agent is running now. So I'm cl closing this one. <coughs> now. How to prepare the database for mirroring? Let me open the SQL Server Management Studio. So this is my Management Studio. Two Management Studio I have, I have opened. Left side I will just con uh, connect with the principal. Second side uh, second side I will connect to the mirror. So click on connect. The, I am just selecting the primary DB. So second side also I am going to connect to the secondary DB. So both the database is connected. I am running with the SQL Server to, uh, 2022. So that is the SQL version is 16.0 point something. So left side and right side. This, uh, this is my primary DB. This one my secondary DB. Means this one is principal and this one is mirror. So now I am going to create one database. So right click on database. New database. mirror db test i am creating one mirror db test so database is created let me create one uh, table right click on the table go to the table new here product underscore id int product underscore name and where price int so i am going to change the product id as a primary key and I am just also changing the auto increment is identity yes so increment which one by one control plus s and give the data table name so this is my products so table is created refresh that table is created now I need to take a backup of my database which one I want to mirror so right click on the database go to the task go to the backup one folder is there folder is empty now I am going to create the database backup on this folder so this one i'll just i'm giving the path okay and name of the database mirror db test dot bak so, click on okay okay so database backup is created now I'm, I want to create the transaction log backup. So right click on that, go to the task, go to the backup. Here, previously we have selected the full. Now I am going to select the transaction log. So remove this one. Go to the add. I'm going to select by the folder. Previously we copy and pasted the folder. Now I'm going through the folder. So this backup name will be it extension will be the trn that will be the transactional so click on ok click on ok so transaction log backup is also created now i want to restore this backup to my secondary server so right click on the, your database go to the restore database and here go to the device select the particular database bak file backup file so here backup file and just remember that go to the files if you are doing with the single server single server with the double instance then you will get the 
problem with this one second because the path is same so you won't be restored i will get the restore error so what i'll do i will get the path for the secondary database so this is the path so i'm changing the name changing the path only not the name name will be the same also that not a issue so i change the path so now path is c both the path is different this is a primary db this is a secondary db so path is changed go to the option and here select the restore with no recovery leave the database non-operational and do not roll back uncommitted transaction additional transaction log, log can be restored i need to restore the transaction log also so this one in restoring mode now right click on that go to the task and go to the restore and there is a transaction log go to the from device this one and click here go to the particular path so where is the path in d drive there is a path sql server backup and there is a mirror turn trn file is there okay go to the option here option is the restore with no recovery whenever you are doing the mirroring database should be in restoring mode okay so what about the database in principle i restore in the mirror server now whatever the instance the sql server running with uh, instance with the mirroring so i want that account to be added here so go to the login new login search here i will search mirror mirroring so check names so i got the mirroring go to the server role i am going giving this one as a system admin sys admin click on ok so edit that one go to the secondary server here also i am going to add that same process search mirroring ok where that So I'm just going with the SQL Server authentication. And here, server role, I'm giving you the sysadmin. Let me uh, add again. So here. Mirroring. Check names click on ok i'm just adding this one okay what is the problem been built because in valid character so i added both the side now i'm creating this one as a system admin sys admin so added this one so both the side just check that everything is correct or not okay. everything is fine now now account part is completed so now i'm going to configure the mirror mirroring for this database so right click on the database go to the task and there is option mirror click on that and here is the option configure security click on configure security next i don't have the witness instance so next this is my primary instance next connect with the secondary instance there is a secondary instance if you don't have the name then copy with the secondary database click on connect next next so whatever the action you have taken you will get the there is a means you will get the summary of that so click on Nice. so everything created now click now everything is configured i think so i'm going to start the mirroring so click on ok click on yes yeah so click on ok see this side refresh the database previously that see this one only restoring showing the restoring so just refresh the database so you will get the mirror synchronize and restoring in left side you will just see principal and synchronize 
whatever the data will be inserted into the this particular database mirror db test database automatically it will mirror to secondary database so that is the mirroring db test and mirror and synchronize and restoring mode it will always will be the restoring mode so in this uh, video we have learned how to set up database mirroring in the in the sql server with the two instances i have only one uh, machine and in this machine i am running with the two instances and with that so we have learned how to create the account for the mirroring assign the sql server services and prepare the database for mirroring and how to configure the principal server and how to configure the mirror server so hope this will help so thank you for watching